everyone this is me satya here and i'm uh doing your remaining month of august reading start from the 22nd through the 31st of august 2020 this is going to be for the sign of scorpio so let's see what is coming up for you guys for this uh remaining month of august time um i will be adding a card in this reading but no charms will be included so stay tuned and let's find out what is coming up for scorpions for this uh remaining month um while i shuffle the cards let me remind you it's a general reading it may it may not resonate with everyone out there so always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest for personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. And um, you can also check out my sister's tarot channel. I will be adding the link to her channel in the comment section. If you like it, you can always become a part of her YouTube family as well. So let's see what is heading to us Scorpions for this um, remaining month of August time. Let's begin. <clears throat> Three of Cups. Five of Pentacles. The sun. The death. Good times, bad times. Good times, bad times. Good times, bad times. Um, it's going to be like one day you're happy, one day you're sad. One day you're happy, one day you're sad. Um, and that's coming because, uh, let me see. I need the deck you do have three of wands. It seems like, you know, uh, scorpions are uh, feeling good and bad. Good and bad. Good and bad. Why? Because... Um, maybe the, uh, there is one area of your life where you are happy. There is, there are certain things that's going to happen for you, which is going to make you feel so happy and fulfilled. But then there is time when you are going to feel lonely. You are going to feel like, you know, um, you, uh, you, you really need, uh, you know, your sunshine. You really need, um, somebody that you can call your own, a happiness that you can rely upon. Something that's going to last long, something that is like, you know, long term. So I, I do see that, you know, um. It's, it's like, you know, you're missing fun, you're missing life, you're missing love in your life is what I'm picking up. Um, then, you know, I do see, you know, you, um, you go with the temporary fixes in your life. Um, it's, it's more like, you know, you, you might, you know, you might get yourself busy doing, you know, some party stuff and stuff like that. But then what, what comes next? It's, it's like you are lonely again. So I do see that you are going to have some sort of, um, with the death card here, it seems like, you know, you are going to come out of this zone where you have been doing so lately. And it's like, you know, you, you uh, try to keep yourself busy, then there is this time when you feel bad. Then you keep yourself busy, you are happy and all, and then you feel bad. So I do see that you, you, re you have been in that zone where you have been having the temporary fixes in your life. And now you feel the need to change it. It's like uh, the change that needs to happen or that needs to take place is uh, to, to give you the permanent fix to the situation because otherwise it's, it's not it's never gonna end it's never it's never ending kind of a situation it has been the scene for for the scorpions for quite some time already maybe for months or years is what i'm picking up but only you can change that only you can understand what is it that you really want to have what is it that brings you happiness from within i feel like you know it's, it's more of a very uh, superficial kind of um, happiness that you get it, it doesn't get into you or into your soul. It does make you feel like, you know, that's that's why whenever you get done with, you know, it, it, I, I'm picking up like, you know, maybe you have been to a party or you will be going to a party or you will be having fun with your friends in the very beginning of the uh, remaining month, 22nd, 23rd or something around those lines. Then what? You, you, you have uh, nothing. You are feeling lonely. You are feeling bad. Then something, something, uh, something is going to come again and then you will be happy again. But what then it's not going to last again why because you are not doing what you need to do what your soul is asking you to go for you are not taking that step which is why things are not moving exactly the way you want you are not having the emotional fulfillment the way you desire you are not letting um you know uh, love find you you are too closed off to that and um but yes only only you can bring the change that you desire otherwise you know you're going to stay stuck in the situation it has to end this this temporary fix needs to go you really have to find what what can make you happy what can bring you the happiness that you seek um and you you don't find happiness from outside you always find it from within you and it's like you know you um you need to understand that you are not happy and satisfied from deep within you uh you get happy being around with people who are fake you get happy being around with the people who uh, who don't know the real you. And the person who knows the real you is who you are running away from. 
and And I feel like, you know, that person is waiting on for you. That person, whoever it is, that person is really waiting on for you to change, to waiting on for you to grow, waiting on for you to change as in, you know, realize what you're doing wrong. They are not around you right now. They are not being pushy towards you. Like, you know, do this, understand this and stuff like that. I don't see them doing that any longer. It's more like, you know, they are staying away from you and they are letting you have your, your time to understand. They are letting you to have the time to grow. They are letting you to have the time that you need to understand uh, what you are doing wrong here. And I feel like, you know, this person, whoever it is that you are dealing with or whoever it is that I'm talking about, it seems like, you know, this person is on the waiting side. They know that, you know, one day you are going to understand this and that you are going to reach out to them then with an offer to make because you do, do have deep connection with this person. But I feel like, you know, this person has given up on you. This person has moved away from you emotionally. Um, they are still connected, but physically they have detached your, themselves from you. But yes, they, they know that you, you know, when the time is right, you are going to reach out to them. When the time is right, you are going to propose them. When the time is right, you are going to realize their worth and you are going to make the move towards them. But till that time comes, I do see them leaving you alone. And I do see them, um, uh, you know, not in your life and you missing them you missing the fun for some of you maybe you are having some sort of party where you are going to see a lot of couples together happy and all you're going to feel good about that but when you get back home and you are you know feeling uh you know uh what do you have do you have somebody of your own that's going to make you feel down that's going to bog you down in fact and that's when you are going to have the thought but then the next morning you're all good again and then it's it's a, it's, it's again it's a temporary fix so Something needs to change within you and only you can bring that change. Only you can, you know, you are the one who, who knows what do you want. Deep down, you know that, you know, the happiness that you, that you, that you need right now is going to come with another person. It's not going to be like, you know, doing what you are doing on your own right now. So, um, I do see that it's going to change. Let's find out one more question, uh, one more answer one more card as an answer to the question when is that change is that change happening in this remaining month of august let's find out five of cups let's take one more card for that six of pentacles you know what you need to do but still you're not doing because um uh, you don't think you can manage both things and it has been showing for the scorpions they have been stuck and stagnant in their life for since forever it's something that you know that you need to do but at the same time you're not doing it's um that's the reason why things are stagnant why things are not moving in your life you have been you know um it's it's just your fear that you can't maintain both love and work love and responsibility it's it's that you it's, it's something that you need to come out of and understand that what you want is something that you are not giving your time and energy to and let me see one more card here because i'm picking up one more energy here yeah i do see that you will be able to come out of it very soon maybe not in this month time but very soon maybe soon after this month ends why because i feel like you know um I do see you getting disappointed with yourself here with the five of cups it's it's not you know you disappointing uh you disappointing another person or you disappointed with another person it's more of your thing where you're finding it very disappointed for yourself not to be able to maintain that healthy balance which can make you feel more powerful which can make you feel more happy and i do see that um you know that something changing within you the change might come this month but the action that needs to be taken I think that will come in the in the in the in the in the month to come, because I feel like you know some there, there is a movement forward for sure. Yeah, Emperor paired up with the Ace of Cups. You are going to make that you know move towards this person, whoever it is that you love, whoever it is that you have feelings for, that you might be kind of you know trying to suppress right now. But um, the change needs to take place here, which which might be coming as you move towards the end of the month, and in the next month. 
you are going to understand that you should stop disappointing yourself in the situation and try to maintain a healthy balance because that's what makes you more powerful you know you having you know you you are able to multitask here but you are thinking the other way around you feel like you know if you if you give importance or if you talk to this person more you are going to get attached to this person you are going to do this and that and you have your own fears that starts talking to you and that's what you need to kind of you know um get a hold on to one more thing for those of you who are dealing with the scorpio i would suggest you to use affirmations scripting um visualizations to bring this person out of the situation to to give you what you desire with this person um to make them understand that they need you they love you they they need to let go of their fears around this connection you can uh you know make your own affirmations you can script around it whatever it is that you desire with this person you can always bring that change forward for yourself with this person with the with the using the law of attraction techniques because that that brings you the change that you desire if your life has been stuck because of a scorpion you can use those manifestation techniques to bring this change forward with this person which i do see coming forward for majority of you in the next month but if you want things to pace up um you can always use the manifestation techniques to make it happen quick so let's see what is coming up for scorpions as their oracle guidance for the remaining month of august soulmate yes this is your soulmate and that's what you already know like i said this is something that you already know there is this one person who brings you the sunshine but at the same time you find it very hard to um give what they want and you even though you know that that's exactly what you also want so it's it's like you know this person whoever it is that you're dealing with right now in your life this person is your soulmate for sure so yeah this pretty much it coming up for my uh, scorpions for the remaining month of august if the reading resonates with you do like subscribe and share if you are willing to get a personal reading you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care bye bye